Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do part two. This lesson is going to be very, very similar to the last one you did. All right, so we're going to start off by typing the standard form into our calculator. So let's go to our y equals and let's put that in. So we've got x squared plus 4x minus 5. All right. We're going to go to the table and we're going to fill in the table. Now you will notice in this one, I did not fill in any of the X values. So you need to look for that pattern. All right. Remember, there's a pattern to the, the quadratics. So you want to get it so that the top and bottom match in the second column. OK, so now you can see the top and bottom match. They both are zero and then it follows the pattern. So we're going to copy those numbers into our table. So we've got the negative 5, 0, the negative 4, negative 5, the negative 3, negative 8, the negative 2, negative 9, negative 1, negative 8, 0, negative 5, and 1, 0. All right, we're going to plot those dots. So negative 5, 0. Okay, I'm going to plot these silently, so just follow along. If I'm going too fast, pause it. All right, I have them plotted. I'm going to draw the line through them. Okay, so the first question is, what is the vertex as an ordered pair? Remember, the vertex is your turning point. And that's the one in the middle of the table. So the vertex is negative 2, negative 9. Okay, we're going to use the vertex to write the vertex form of the equation above. All right, now, when we write the vertex equation, we write, okay, I'm just going to put this, the shell of it up. So I put y equals, I'm going to put parentheses, leave space, and I'm going to put a square on it. Okay, anytime we're going to write the equation for a vertex, that's the shell. All right, now what goes inside the parentheses, okay, well, the X has opposite sign, has the opposite sign. So this is your X, right? So we're going to put inside the parentheses X plus 2. The Y has the same sign. So this is our Y. So behind that, we're going to put minus 9. Okay, that's called the vertex form of the above equation. All right. Now I'm going to replace the equation in my y equals with that new equation. So we're going to go ahead and put parentheses x plus 2 squared minus 9. Now, what do you think is going to happen? Wow, just like the last lesson. The table is exactly the same. All right. They are the same. So let's just go ahead and fill in the table. So again, negative 5, 0, negative 4, negative 5, negative 3, negative 8, negative 2, negative 9, negative 1, negative 8, 0, negative 5, 1, 0. All right, what does that tell us about the two equations? Just like the last lesson, that tells us they are equal to each other.
All right, let's just do one more of these because it's it's basically the same except we're doing vertex form instead of factor form. All right, let's turn the page. So let's put this into our calculator. So we've got x squared plus 8x. Actually, let me just start over. x squared plus 8x plus 12. All right, so you're going to have to move your table, go up or down until you get it to match, to have that pattern. Don't have to move it too far. Okay, there it is, 5 on top, 5 on the bottom. Let's fill it in. All right. I'm going to go ahead and plot these dots. Oops, missed that one. All right, I'm going to draw my line. Okay, the vertex, again, that's the turning point right there. And that's the middle, which is negative 4 negative 4. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write my shell for my vertex form. This is my shell. All right, what goes inside? Okay, so x has the opposite sign, so we're going to go ahead and go x plus 4, and then y has the same sign, that goes on the outside, so minus 4. All right, and you know what's going to happen already. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put that in anyway, just to show you. X plus 4 squared minus 4. I'm going to go to the table, and wow, look at that. It's exactly the same. All right, so let me fill the table in. Okay, and the questions, the answers to these questions are the same as what they were on the front. Okay, what do you notice about the tables? And what do you notice about the equations? All right, so you're going to have to do some of that in your assignment. Let's turn to page five. Let's turn to page five. Okay, page five. All right. Here we're going to change each factored form. Okay. Actually, that should not say factored form. I just realized that that's a typo. That should say change each vertex form of the equation into standard form. All right, so you will notice this part right here. Okay, x plus 3 squared, that means there are two of them. Okay, so that means you put one on top and you put the other one on the side. Okay, they're the exact same thing. So we're going to FOIL. Okay, we're going to multiply and fill in each piece of this, each part of the box. So x times x, x squared. 
3x, 3x, and then 3 times 3 is 9. Now, there's a little bit more work to this one because we can't forget there's a plus 5 behind it. So, we're going to write this out. So, we've got x squared plus 6x. Again, add the 3x's together. 3x, 3x, 6x, plus 9. But then don't forget about the plus 5. Okay, we have to add that on to it. So, our final answer is x squared plus 6x plus 14. Okay, don't forget about the plus 5. Okay, let's do this next one. This one's going to have a little bit more to it also. All right, first of all, we're going, we have the x minus 9 squared. Again, that means there are two of them. So one on top, the other on the side. FOIL, so multiply. Now, watch out, there's a negative 3 in front. So when I write this, folks, I need to put, start with the negative 3. And I can't forget about the plus 7. Okay, well, I got to fill that inside. I got to do the inside first. So what goes inside? So the x squared minus 18x, negative 9 and negative 9 make negative 18, plus 81. All right, might have to do a little uh, calculator work here. Now, first we have to take care of the negative 3. So we're going to have to distribute and multiply that negative 3 to all three of those. All right, you can use your calculator to assist you, okay? But I've got them written down already. So here we go. We've got negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times negative 18x is positive 54x. Negative 3 times positive 81 will be minus 243. And then I still have that plus 7 in the back. Okay, don't forget about that. And now I have to combine that with the negative 243. So my final answer is negative 3x squared plus 54x. Whoops, let me uh, do that 4 again. And the 5. Plus 54x. And then adding these two together gives me minus 236. That is our final answer. All right. Good luck.